So Hanover displays manufacture and design passenger information systems for the electronic industry. We have customers in around 75 countries throughout the whole of the world and we have a very high standard of quality of product. So Hanover decided to bring back uh, the PCBs from the Far East uh, and manufacture them in-house. This gave us greater flexibility on, on production control but also enabled us to continue with product development. We invested in high-speed production uh, equipment to make the PCBs. That presented another set of challenges of being able to test the boards and inspect them. So prior to automation, the process was very manual. Uh, we used automated test equipment, but it was all quite hands-on um, and relied on obviously the operator's full concentration. So the main drivers for automating PCBA testing was to address the issue of health and safety. So when processing 240,000 PCBAs per year, your operators could get repetitive strain injury. We also wanted to guarantee the cycle time to make sure it's consistent. And we also wanted the ability to run the cobots at night time. So unmanned running was really important for me. I wanted to get more throughput, but with less. So we formed Absolute in 2018. We're a small robot integrator. So we're integration partners with Omron and we provide solutions for customers where they need some level of automation. So when we were first introduced to Hanover, they showed us how they were testing circuit boards with manual operators. And one of the key drivers there was that they wanted the robot to interact with the existing manual test equipment. So the robots have special tooling that allow them to open and shut the manual testing equipment. So we realised the benefits quite quickly after implementing the first system. Um, what we planned for and hoped for was that we'd be able to run unmanned into the evening and, and this, yeah, this did, did happen quite quickly. As I said, these are highly repetitive tasks and for us we wanted to separate them from their day-to-day -day activities. So the next steps for me were quite logical. We'd started with a basic power supply. We wanted to look at our processor boards and our display boards. But it then meant using the cobots to their full potential. So that meant using the vision systems. So particularly on the display boards, making sure the LEDs were lighting up in the correct sequence. And that's led us to invest in a further six cobots at Hanover. So we've got two production lines that we've installed at Hanover, which are taking LED display boards from a standard storage rack and breaking them out and testing them. One of the challenges that Hanover Displays gave us was they produce quite a number of different sizes and shapes of circuit board for the display panels in particular. So we built flexible tooling that can self-adjust to allow for those different sizes of, of board. And the program allows for any number of LEDs from hundreds to, to tens of thousands of LEDs. So the cycle time for the products are on par with our employees. So the, you know, the aim is to really um, produce into the evening and into the early hours of the morning. From a quality assurance point of view, we have traceability of our PCBAs. So this means every time we inspect a PCBA, we get a record to tell us if it's passed or failed. We've also had an additional 1,100 hours per annum of unmanned running. And the return on investment for the whole system um, was, was two years. It's been great working with Hanover Displays. We've really appreciated the challenges they've thrown at us. We've enjoyed equipping the cobots to process the circuit boards that they need. And we feel we've given them a really good technical solution that's given them thousands of hours of operation. At Hanover, we always want to invest in our future. It's about looking at technology, how it's moved forward, and how we can apply it to our business. So I think the biggest thing for me is um, redeploying our staff and upskilling them, uh, and, you know, taking away the monotonous kind of could be automated processes. It's something that we need to continue doing as we remain competitive in our marketplace.